Today is Small Business Saturday and many Idahoans masked up to shop local today. And according to two local business owners we talked to, today was needed. Our Katia Stepovic has more. Small Business Saturday typically sets the tone for what the holiday season will look like for many local business owners, and none of them knew what to expect. Well, it turns out some local owners were pleasantly surprised. People bundled up. We're here. We're happy that we're here yeah. supporting small, small businesses. To line up for Small Business Saturday. Keep your mask up over your nose as well. And then when you're ready to leave, exit out the other side. We've had a really good day so far. We had a line out front of the store pretty much all afternoon. This morning, we tried some early morning shopping appointments. Chad Dryden has been the marketing director at the Record Exchange for 11 years. He says Black Friday and Small Business Saturdays are their biggest days each year. He was thrilled to see the steady foot traffic this year around, given all of the COVID circumstances. It's a much more mellower experience, I think, for everybody. Uh, but the fact that our sales have been as strong as they have been the past two days is an encouraging thing for us. But he says a big part of that is due to their increased effort in their online presence. Seeing people support us in that way today has been really cool. Uh, a lot of people that shopped online today have been opting for curbside service. So we are seeing people that are choosing to be safe, but still support us. But even for local shops like Idaho Made, who don't bank on online sales. You know, we didn't know what to expect and we were a little concerned that the day that our artists work for all year, um, that it might not be what we need. Today was exactly what owner Molly Seaman and her artists needed. By lunch, we had a line um, down the hallway. Molly says while the crowds didn't come all at once, it's just a good uh, boost to our artists to know that th people still want to shop here and they don't mind the hassle and they don't mind the masks and they don't mind the lines and um, and it just lets us know that we're we're still okay. A glimmer of hope, community support that local businesses hope lasts longer than just one day. The retail, the arts, the music scene, festivals, food trucks, you name it. If everybody wants to see that a year from now or two years from now, it's crucial to support these businesses now in any way you can. Both Idaho Made and the Record Exchange saw about 80% of their sales compared to last year. So hopefully if they continue to see this increased community support, they just might stick around. In Boise, Katia Stepovic, Idaho's News Channel 7.